Hey guys, this is Push to Insanity, and what you guys are watching today is the second upload that is going up on this Saturday. This intro template is a 3D dubstep sync intro template, so it's something new to my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Go ahead and open up the download file, and you guys will notice that I've given you guys the background.mp4 file. This is for people that don't have the plugins that were used to create this background effect. So if you guys don't have that plugin, you can still have that background. So go ahead and open up the first part of the template, which is the Cinema 40 file. To edit your top text, select all three top Motex objects and change your text to whatever you want. Do the same thing with your bottom text, select all three Motex objects and change your text to whatever you want. If your text is too large, you guys can also resize it and adjust it so it's centered. Once you guys have finished editing your text, go to your render settings and save your intro to your own desktop or folder. And you guys can render out your Cinema 40 part of the intro. Once you guys have finished rendering your Cinema 40 part of the intro, go ahead and open up the part 2 file of the intro template, which is the After Effects file. And you guys will notice that you're missing two files. One of them is the song that was used in the template, and the other one is the actual render of the intro template itself. So to fix this, right click on the music file and replace the footage with what you guys are provided with in the description. Once you guys have finished uh, replacing the music file, go do the same thing with the intro. So right click and replace the footage with what you guys rendered in Cinema 4D. So I didn't actually render out this intro template. However, if you guys render it out, make sure that you render out in a PNG sequence. And just open up the first picture, which should be the PNG file with four zeros. And make sure that PNG sequence is selected. So if you guys already have the plugins that were used to create the background, you'll notice that the background is already there. However, if you guys don't have the plugins that were used, you guys will not have this background effect. So to get that background effect, all you got to do is import the file that I've given you in the download, which is the background.mp4 file, and just drag it right under your intro, and you guys will have that background effect. Once you guys are finished with that, go to composition and add your composition to the render queue and you guys can render out your intro. Wow. 